Around one month ago, Google released a revolutionary open source terminal agent with the launch of Gemini CLI. This impressive AI agent runs directly within your terminal and gives you free access to the Gemini 2.5 Pro model with a massive 1 million token context window. You also get 60 requests per minute and 1000 requests per day, which is quite impressive for free usage. But this update introduces a range of powerful new features, making Gemini CLI a strong rival to Claude code with many new capabilities like a plan and implementation mode. You have native VS code, cursor, integrations, as well as with different extensions like with Klein or with root code. You have custom slash commands, GitHub action support, and so much more. So let's just simply dive into it. But essentially, it's not just the Google team that has been implementing these updates. It's also the open source community. Over the past month, we have seen so many new contributors working on enhancing Gemini CLI even further with new updates. And you can see this is just five days ago and we have so many fixes, so many additions of new features thanks to the open source community with new PRs being merged to the actual repository. And overall, this is now a really reputable and amazing coding agent. To start off, let's take a look at the new Gemini CLI plan-driven development. This is where they've introduced new slash commands, custom as well as predefined commands that you can enter into a dedicated planning and implementation mode. You have two different modes, the planning mode, which is where Gemini helps you break down a task into a structured step-by-step -step roadmap. And then the implementation mode is self-explanatory where it follows through with the plan, guiding you as it executes or generates the necessary code. Let's take a look at this example of it live in action. This is where the plan mode is first adding a new model selector, and then it's going to devise a plan for the implementation mode to actually implement that process that has developed, where it is going to add in the new model provider best fit for that particular task. And you can see that it has now implemented that step-by-step -step process. Essentially, it lets you create reusable prompts to streamline Gemini CLI's workflow, making interactions faster and more efficient. This is where you can create custom command templates so that you can use it whenever you would want within the TOML file or via MCP prompts, giving you flexibility in the setup as well as so that you can reuse these different prompts. And at the core of the TOML file, it's simple, but it's a powerful foundation where you can have it so that you can set the prompt key, the arguments, as well as shell commands within that file. And it's going to be able to let you use these reusable commands whenever it's required. They have also introduced namespacing where command names are based on their file path within the commands directory. This is where subdirectories can be created for namespace commands where this path separates can be converted into a colon. And this way it makes it easy for you to actually organize and structure the commands in a clean, scalable way. And if you're interested in building slash commands, I'll leave this repo in the description below, which will showcase a step-by-step -step process as to how you can use and build your own commands. Next, we have a new update where Gemini CLI now integrates directly within VS Code, as well as extensions like root code, Klein, Kilo code, and other IDs like Cursor. This brings intelligent context-aware suggestions right into your editor, along with native in-editor diffing. So you can actually review and apply changes seamlessly without ever leaving your IDE. Just simply open up the terminal within VS Code, and this is where you can connect to the VS Code editor so that you can actually visualize diffing within the actual editor. So this way, whenever you make different file changes, you're gonna be able to see the visualization of what it had changed directly within VS Code. Yeah, this is a great feature, but what I really like more is that it has context awareness of your workflow, meaning that this is where the workspace and the selection context has ability to direct awareness to your open files and selected text, which is pretty big because you're enabling targeted contextually relevant suggestions that align with exactly what you're working on, which is why I think this is a pretty big update. And in my opinion, it adds a new feat over something like Claude Code. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis. So this is where you can easily get up to date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. And to install this, just make sure you have the prerequisite. Make sure you have Gemini CLI version 0.1.20 or higher 
and then run the CLI into the integrated terminal within VS Code. Once that is done, you have a simple one-step setup where you just need to run the ID install command, and then you can either toggle it on or off whenever you do not want to use it or want to use it directly within the terminal of the editor. Next up, we have the introduction of Gemini CLI GitHub Actions, which is currently in beta. This is your no-cost AI coding teammate. Now you can actually automate tasks, review code, and ship faster directly within your GitHub workflow. With this new update, you're going to be able to have a new AI coding teammate, something that you can use to automate issue triage as well as pull request reviews. This is where it acts as an autonomous agent that can handle routine coding tasks, as well as an on-demand collaborator that you can delegate work to. Currently in beta, but you can see that it has a lot of cool things attached to it, like an intelligent issue triage that can automate the overhead of managing new issues. You can also accelerate pull request reviews, as well as having it on demand to help you brainstorm, work on different fixes, or just simply delegate work to. Take a look at this example, where you can easily create a new feature request on GitHub for Gemini CLI to handle on your own behalf, which is super impressive. You also have it so that the Gemini CLI GitHub action can handle your pull requests, providing code changes and AI generated suggestions for improving user experience. You also have it so that you can delegate the work to the Gemini CLI tag and the agent can actually work on that particular issue that is open. And then it's going to be able to complete different sorts of tasks like bug fixes or implementing new uh, changes to the repository directly within your GitHub issue page. And it's super simple to install. Just make sure you have Gemini CLI installed, latest version, and just use the setup dash GitHub command. This is where they've also attached a GitHub repository that has all the different guides to set it up with the authentication, what you can do to easily set it up, as well as connecting your GitHub account. And this way you can easily get started based off of this blog that they have listed over here. And like I said at the start, Gemini CLI is being worked upon on a weekly basis where they are merging different pull requests that have been contributed by the community and adding it to the official repo. This is where they are listing out different weekly updates on their Twitter page. And a few notable ones are something like the implementation of an automatic loop detection. This is to overall improve the direct reliability and safety of the code. Gemini CLI is also an agent that can execute tasks. So sometimes running multiple steps or loops can be kind of a little tricky because it could get stuck or behave unpredictably. So with an implemented automatic loop detection system, it's going to be able to fix your code and make sure that it is reliable and doesn't get stuck. This is just one small update. There's so many other things that have been implemented. Here is another week's worth of updates with Docker support, you have authentication, enhanced stability, safety, as well as usability. They've also added Vim mode for the input editor, added editor support for Emacs, and so many other small things. This is the work of the open source community at hand, improving Gemini CLI to become a reputable terminal AI coding agent. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. So if you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and update Gemini CLI to the latest version. You just need to simply install it globally with NPM command and it should install it to the latest version. You can install it to whatever operating system you have if you do not have it already. So I'll leave all these links in the description below, but I hope you enjoyed today's video on the new Gemini CLI update. Make sure you take a look at the second channel. If you haven't already, make sure you join the newsletter, join the Discord, follow me on Twitter, and lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you'll truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys really shortly. Peace out, fellas.